A pandemic payment loophole has been closed after thousands of people potentially claimed money they weren't entitled to. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese on Wednesday announced that National Cabinet had agreed to extend COVID leave disaster payments beyond September. Watch the video above, COVID isolation cut down to five days for more personal finance related news and videos check out personal finance the payments were set to expire at the end of the month, but will now remain in place for as long as mandatory isolation periods are in effect. That could change soon, too, with Albanese foreshadowing isolation will be the focus of another meeting of state and territory leaders at the end of the month. In extending the pandemic leave payments, the government also closed a loophole for repeat claimants. Under the revised scheme, people will only be able to claim the payment three times over six months, unless they can argue extraordinary circumstances. It's not impossible for people to be infected more than three times over six months, with health officials in July revising the reinfection period down from 12 weeks to four weeks. However, data from Services Australia showed that more than half of all people claiming the payment in the six months to June 2022 were claiming it more than once. Of those, 12%, or about 7.2% of all claimants, had claimed four or more times. We remain obviously of the view that if people are sick, whether from COVID or from other health issues, they should not be at work and that is important, Albanese told reporters. The government has a responsibility to provide support during that period for the appropriate period which is designated. The cost of the pandemic leave payment is split 50-50 between the federal and state or territory government. It's $450 if the claimant lost at least 8 hours, or a full day's work, and less than 20 hours overall, or $540 if they lost more than 20 hours of work. More than $2.2 billion in pandemic leave has been paid since the scheme was implemented. The next time National Cabinet meets, the conversation will shift to isolation periods. People who test positive to COVID only have to isolate for five days instead of seven under recent changes, unless they work in high-risk settings including aged care and disability care. But Albanese foreshadowed that would be reassessed when he meets with state and territory leaders on September 30th. Of course, there are different arrangements in place in countries, but what we are seeing is gradually a move towards COVID being treated like other health issues, he said on Wednesday. Clearly, we saw with the reduction that we made last time from seven days to five, we are making some preparations as well, over a potential wave during the northern winter. Those preparations and how we will respond to them will be a source of further discussion from chief health officers, 